Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here for you guys, another episode of Scrap Mechanic. Today we are going to be unveiling the brand new theme, and as you can see from the title, it is a sky base. This is something that you guys have wanted to see for a very long time, and I have finally decided to take on the sky base challenge. Now this sky base itself is going to have a little bit of a twist to it, I'm going to be doing a bit of meshing between two worlds. We're going to be doing a more of an apocalyptic style sky base. And when I say apocalyptic, I think of stuff like Fallout, uh, stuff like that, maybe a little bit of steampunk, uh, not quite all the way on that side. Uh, but I'll do a little bit more explaining as to my thought process around that as we go through the base here itself. Now one last thing I am going to announce that this is going to be also a community project. I'm going to get you guys involved. I've already got a Discord set up if you guys want to join that. I'm going to create a couple new channels. Uh, for viewer submissions to the base and a little place where we can talk about new ideas for the base. So get ready to comment below with the new ideas, but go ahead, watch the video first, kind of get a feel for where I'm going at with this base, and then let me know what you guys think. But anyways, let's jump right into this creation. Alright, so let's go ahead and start going over the sky base. Now do keep in mind this is a series and there's not a whole lot done here today. I kind of continue these series and I just keep going at them until basically the map can no longer take it anymore. So I'm probably going to do the same thing with this map here. Now you're probably looking at this little area here and wondering, that's not a sky base, that looks like a big elevator. And you would be right, uh, this is the sky base dock. Now the sky base itself is actually setting back a little bit and I'm going to explain how it's going to hover and I'm saying that with quotation marks. Uh, because I'm not going to actually have the base hovering itself, it, it is actually going to be anchored to the ground. And I can go ahead and show you that here right now. Look very close, do you see something strange about the shadow right here? I'm actually using one of the Durf invisible blocks, which it isn't quite completely invisible, but you can see it right here, and I've actually anchored the sky base to that part. So the sky base is separate from the elevator itself, in theory the sky base should be able to kind of float away which we're not going to actually have that happen because of scrap mechanics limitations, but uh, that's kind of my thought process behind that. Now, when I say an apocalyptic sky base, I want to go ahead and show you guys the lands around the sky base itself, and you're probably going to notice that, yes, the whole area is flooded. Um, a part of my thought process with why we had to move up into the sky is that the earth itself is uh, in pretty bad shape. As you can see, everything's flooded over. Uh, we can go ahead and go with the farm bot theory uh, that we used to use in the old apocalyptic maps and that it's probably best just to move up to the skies. Now we will probably use some of this lower lying areas maybe for some raider bases and stuff like that, some bandits, uh, anything that you guys think would fit down here go ahead and let me know. But yeah, majority of the actual build itself is going to be up in the sky but I did want to make the, uh, the area around here kind of look a little bit gloomy. I would like to change the sky up too and maybe make it a bit darker but we'll have to see what we'll do about that. Okay so here we are, we are at the sky base dock here and as you can see this thing is heavily fortified, it's got the big walls around it, uh, they're obviously trying to keep people that they don't want in, out and probably other things like creatures and farm bots, no telling what's down here. So you can see the spikes here at the front. You've got the big wall. I really just wanted to put something down here to make it look like it's somewhat protected because it would look a little odd just to have the elevator shaft on the ground here and nothing around it. So it's a pretty simple little area around here. Uh, I like the way I actually worked with this fence. I think that came out actually quite nice with the design and you can see it's actually decayed a little bit. There's a couple little holes in here. I use uh, that kind of style a lot in my apocalypse world a while back, I had a lot of decayed out buildings, holes in it, so I'm kind of going with the same style here. So we're ready to go ahead and walk into here, we're going to hit this little switch here and check that out. I actually really like that gate for some reason, it's just pretty simple, it's like a garage door really, it's just a piston here and you've got a little bearing that actually swoops the gate back. So you've got that, let's go ahead and close it here. There we go. Now we do have a, a couple little catwalks up here for guards to stand around and 
kind of monitor who's coming up to the gate and you can actually let people in from up here. Uh, realistically, you probably wouldn't have the button on the outside, but I needed a way in without using my lift, so yeah, you can work that from here. Uh, we might stick some other things down here. I'm not really sure if you guys have any suggestions for that. Uh, I don't think that this is really complete down here, uh, so we will probably do just a bit more work to give this a little bit more of a uh, apocalyptic feel. Anyways, let's go ahead and use the elevator. As you can see, this thing is absolutely massive. This took a little bit to build. Uh, what I did is I built the base and I actually built the shell and I duplicated the shell and thankfully I love the weld tool and scrap mechanic because if we did not have that, this would have taken hours. I mean, this still took about two hours, but this thing would have taken probably 10 plus to build that up from the ground. So, anyways, I think the elevator's already called down, but let's go ahead and hit the switch over here to the right. There's our door, and we can walk up here. Now, we are using a modded piston down in the elevator here, so it does go a full, I think, 256 or 255 blocks, and it's really just one piston. Pretty simple design here. Uh, you could do this in vanilla, but it would take quite a few actual pistons stacked up on top of each other, and I really didn't want to use that, so... Thankfully, Durf has that awesome modded piston, so we're going to hit that switch and we're going to slowly climb to the top. You can actually somewhat see outside. I didn't want it to be too open because obviously at any point, any time, this could be under attack and you need a little bit of protection here. So anyways, we're going to climb all the way to the top here and we're going to check out the sky base. All right, here we are. We are arriving at the top. This is the top of the dock here and boom. We are done. Now, this is a slow process to build stuff like this now because obviously we are really high up in the air and I really wish Scrap Mechanic had some sort of flying mode that way I can just freely fly around and just place blocks, but unfortunately it doesn't. So I've probably fallen off this uh, sky base probably about, I would say 50 times at least. It's been a bit of a pain, but it has been worth it. So here is the actual dock area. You would probably have some guards up here. And as you can see, we actually have a bit of a drawbridge before you get to the sky base itself, which by the way, I've already came up with the name. It's a pretty simple name. It's Sky City, and I'll show you guys uh, everything or what we're going to plan back there. But first, uh, let's go ahead and check this little area out here. This is the top of the elevator. I actually really like the designs to this. I kind of did a little roof area here, but uh, with the post-apocalyptic steampunk style, I really think it fits Scrap Mechanic because we have all these little parts that we can use. So you're going to see a lot of kind of obscure things, uh, the way I put stuff together, because I kind of want to make it look a bit like a scrap world. So you're going to have a lot of random parts, and it's going to actually look a little bit junky. Uh, think of something a bit like Fallout in the way they do things, and that's really what I'm going for here in this whole, basically the whole map. Now, there might be a couple little sections that might be a bit different, maybe a little bit more high class, but we'll have to go over those a little bit later. But anyways, the gate operator, actually we'll call this the drawbridge operator. Uh, the gate operator would be down at the bottom. By the way, let's go ahead and send this back down. There we go. And yeah, uh, here is the drawbridge. We're going to actually hit this switch here, and here we go. Here is Sky City. This actually came out a lot better than I thought it would. This looks awesome. I'm using several mods. We're using the uh, the main mod that really pokes out here is the Durf. Uh, it's the Neon Pipe mod, which I've never really played around with it that much. And I didn't realize it actually lit up the way it does. And I have to say, this looks fantastic. Now, one thing I'm going to do to this sign, you can already tell it's kind of leaning over. I am going to have one of the letters actually flicker because I think that would look pretty cool, but I just didn't have time to finish that up here today. But anyways, that's probably the only change we're going to make out here. So let's walk over here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just make sure this area is really secure. Let's go and hit that. And it's going to put the drawbridge back up. And we are ready to pretty much enter into Sky City here. So kind of give you guys a little bit of a brief look of the front here. Uh, one thing that I'm going to add, and I needed to talk about this, uh, we are going to try to mimic or at least make it look like the sky base is hovering, and one way I'm going to do that, and I've got to build it, I'm going to build like these little thruster clusters, and that kind of rhymes, uh, those are going to set on the side walls and they're going to be constantly going off, so it's going to give it like the appearance that this thing's actually hovering. 
So as soon as I get that built, I'm probably going to stick a couple of those on the front here. And I almost fell off the back there. And that would have been absolutely terrible. So anyways, let's go ahead and go to the intercom here. Dial it in and let's go ahead and open the gate here. Now this is the welcome platform. We have layers of security here in Sky City. So let's go ahead and walk into the front here. Let's go ahead and close those. This is the welcome platform. Uh, this is basically a security check checkpoint before you're allowed to go into the city itself. And which, by the way, the city is not built. Uh, that's a part of where I stopped. But yeah, you've got this nice security area. This is the main lobby. Uh, you've got a little waiting area. <laughs> Everything looks a little, a little trashy, but it, it's kind of cool. It does remind me a bit of like Fallout. I, I really like that. Uh, there's tons of little details here. And I have to say, there's, this is probably the most in detail that I've gone with any build, from the little decorations to even the little things like, if you notice here on the welcome sign, the E itself is actually slightly tilted over. It's just going to be little stuff like that that I think is really going to make this build. So yeah, we've got the welcome area here. This is where you would come in and check in with the hostess or, I don't know, we'll just call this a security guard because... You're going to get frisked down before you get into Sky City. Obviously, it's floating up there. We can't have people with weapons in there. So this would be like a weapon turn-in station. Turn in all your gear that's not allowed into Sky City. And you will be allowed to go in. So here is the main gate to Sky City. You can see there's a platform out there. And you can see the construction zone sign. We have not finished anything beyond this. So uh, we won't really cover this area here today. Uh, let's go ahead and take a little walk back here, open up the side door, and here we go. This is just the back of the security station. This would also be a place where the main security guards would hang out, and this is going to give you actual access to the roof itself, uh, where a lot of the guards are going to set. So you got a little locker area here, you got some shelves, uh, a lot of clutter, and that's really what this is meant to look, it's just meant to look like it's really messy. Uh, they would come back, take your gear, tag it, and stick it on the shelves here. Uh, you got some security monitors here. You can see there's a little hole in the wall back here. Uh, by the way, do I have all the lights on? I believe I do. There we go. I'm going to go with these orange lights because it gives off kind of a nice look, a nice glow to all the rooms. So, pretty satisfied with this area here. Uh, let's go ahead and walk over here. This is where the uh, host, or I guess we'll, I keep calling it a host for some reason. We're going to call this the main security guard. He's going to sit here. Uh, he can also let people in through the gate that will let you into Sky City. We're going to go ahead and leave that open real quick. That way we'll walk out on that platform here in a second. Uh, let's go ahead and walk up here. This is the roof access here. And go ahead and get it. Just kind of soak it in here. This is actually one of my favorite views so far. And you kind of get a feel for what the, the land itself looks like. And this is where I'm kind of excited as to what we're going to do. Because I believe we're going to build separate platforms on some of the islands out in the areas out there and I have an idea as to how to get to them besides just flying I think we might do some sort of sky system or a sky rail uh, in between these areas it's gonna take a lot of work to connect them but I think it will be worth it to have almost like a mini tram that would go all the way across to other islands so that's just one of the ideas that I wanted to show you guys up here now as far as up here uh, nothing much up here it's really just a guard station they've got a little platform back here they can uh look at where the actual city would be uh, they can watch anybody that goes up the elevator here the drawbridge uh, they actually have control of it, several things they have control of the drawbridge from up here and they have control of the main gate here they can open and close it you can somewhat see the shadow working there so they've got that they also have some protection up here and i do want to thank mr wiz uh, he was the first viewer to submit something to the sky base here and I actually showed a teaser picture in my discord of the front here and he was like hey wouldn't it be cool if there was turrets on top of the wall and I thought absolutely so yes he has built us a turret here pretty cool steampunk looking turret uh, you can kind of see uh, this actually gives you quite a nice view uh, this thing fully turns around it moves up and down so you can kind of adjust it I believe this is actually made completely out of vanilla parts, so definitely a cool addition to the base. Uh, they can help fend off raiders if they were to attack. You can see it fire there. It's got the little uh, tote bot head, kind of gives off a bit of a thump. Kind of looks like it's firing. I still wish we had weapons and scrap mechanic. That would be really cool. 
I just noticed that the uh, light itself is actually flashing on the drawbridge. That's a pretty strong light. That's pretty cool. So, anyways, I do want to thank Mr. Wiz for the gun turrets here for the top of the station. Alright, so we're going to hop off that and kind of walk over to this area here. We also have a radio tower here. Uh, I'm pretty sure we're going to have some other stations around the map, so this will be like a bit of a link between the stations itself. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the top roof here. You got a little canopy. Kind of looks like the floor is roughly put together, but that's obviously the look we are going for here in the sky base. So let's go ahead and walk down here. Uh, yes, is the door. Door is open, so let's go ahead and go out this door here. Uh, now, real quick, let's go ahead and walk to this side. I left this side blank for a reason. Uh, this is either going to be the air dock out here for people to arrive by some sort of ship, whether it be uh, makeshift helicopters or, I don't know, hover ships, whatever we're going to build for this. Uh, I'm going to extend this out and probably put little docks or little areas for them to land in, and they can walk off and go into the welcome center and then try to get into the city itself. So that's kind of why this area is pretty blank. Actually makes for a, another nice little observation area too. But anyways, let's go ahead and walk over here and we're gonna walk through this catwalk here. And this is about where I finished. Now I know it might not seem like a lot, but this actually took a long time. But I think the process is really gonna speed up now that I've got everything up here in the air and I can continue just to build out now. Uh, the real pain in the butt was to get everything up here and get that elevator running. So I do apologize that there's not like a whole bunch of stuff to show you here today. Uh, but this is the platform. This is going to lead out into the city. And what we're probably going to do, we're probably going to actually have... Uh, let's go ahead and delete that real quick. Uh, we're going to probably do a lot of some of the showcase episodes, like I said, with you guys. I'm going to build a platform out here. And I think the first thing we're going to really run into is almost like a marketplace. And I'm going to build some in between episodes, and I might actually do a little bit of live building. I would like to know what you guys think about that uh, as I'm recording. That way you can got, you guys can kind of see the process that I go through uh, in order to build some of this stuff. So we might do a bit of that, but yeah, that's where we're going to be leading out to next. But yeah, anyways, that is really about it. I'm actually really excited as to where this is going. Uh, we've got quite a bit of work to do here, but I am satisfied with the progress that we've made because... Uh, we've really gotten the really the hard things out of the way right now. So let's go ahead and walk out here. Lower the drawbridge. Let's go ahead and shut the door just to be nice. There we go. All right. So we are ready to go back down to the ground. And we are going to actually wrap this episode up. And I'm going to give you guys one last view of this. I absolutely love the front of this. And I'm excited to see what it's going to look like beyond it once we get a little bit of almost like a skyline going on with the city itself. So... But anyways, let's go ahead and get down to the bottom. Alright, here we go. Go ahead and open that up here. Give that a little bit of a close. There we go. Okay. But anyways, folks, like I said, I hope you enjoyed this episode here today. I'm really excited for the future of this series. Uh, if you do want to join the Discord, that will be linked down below. If you want to send anything for the Skybase, now that you guys have a bit of an idea as to where I'm going, uh, my email is going to be flashed up on screen. And if you just have any ideas, I appreciate all the comments on the videos. I go through all of them and we'll kind of formulate a game plan as to where we're going with this uh, in the future. And of course, like I said, if you do want to see some live building, and when I say live building, I'm just going to record myself since I can't stream. Uh, I'll record myself and show you guys how we're going to do some more of this base. But yeah, folks, that's going to about wrap it up for today's episode of apocalyptic sky base i hope you enjoyed it if you like to like and subscribe everything helps my channel and we will see you guys next time on scrap mechanic thank you